Welcome to the first of hopefully many Etherhub vlog updates. Uh, so in these videos I will be talking about the weekly updates we do. So this week we have several things we have implemented on the site. So we have improvements to the spoiler system, we have a new layout, we have more documentation. So let's dive right into it and I'll show you what's going on. So the first thing I will show you is the new ban list section. It can be found under the database. This is basically a huge list of all the formats and the banned and restriction list. So we can scroll down through all of the formats and see what cards are banned. Clicking one of these cards will bring you to the uh, information screen where you can check more details on them. Another improvement is on the layout. So when you select one of the submenus on the main list, you can see a uh, format selection here. Uh, same on the deck hub. It will uh, have a direct link to each of the formats. Uh, the system still works the same. So if you click the main selection, it will still remember your last selected format and display that. There's also a small improvement to the deck hub in cases where there are no decks. It will not display like these blank card sections of statistics. So these will be blanked out. Uh, it wasn't like that earlier and it looked a little bit silly. Under documentation, you can find uh, new documentation on Turnis. Uh, it's both a video and a text write up of how to run Turnis and how to participate in Turnis. And these links are also available under the public Turnis section where you can click the how to and this will bring you to the same sections. So with the spoiler system, we have also done some improvements, uh, some small improvements to the layout, but the main feature here is that we now add the cards as they are spoiled into our database. We primarily focus on English card. I am not sure what we want to do with the foreign cards when only a foreign card is spoiled. The reason for this is that users will cache the first card art they see. So if a, an Italian card art is spoiled first, when the English version is spoiled and we replace the image, the image will still be cached locally. So this is a problem for them at a later point when all the spoilers are out, but they still see Italian cards instead of the new cards because they have to force refresh their browser. We are working on how to improve that, but that's probably for a later update and not right now. We have also removed vintage and legacy from the write-ups and video section because they basically didn't have any write-ups or videos or they had like one and uh, it was kind of a waste. So we added historic instead. There's already both historic videos and historic uh, write-ups available. So check that out. We have updated to the latest version of Kiri Rune, So we can now see the new icons for Theros and Judge gift cards. This looks a lot better now. And lastly, we have started work on acceptable ads. So this is something that works in Adblocker Plus, where even if you have Adblocker enabled, you still get served ads, as long as the ads are not intrusive and they conform to special standards. So there's no video animation and there's no annoying ads in the acceptable ads. And we are working with our ad provider, NitroPay, to set this up. So that's it for this week. Next week I will try to work a little bit on the layout overall on the site. I want to improve that, especially in the light team. I'm not really happy with how things looks. I'm also working a lot on our secret project, which will probably be revealed next week. So I hopefully have more to say about that uh, next Sunday. So stay tuned for that and the holidays are coming up, but that doesn't mean we are slowing down. Uh, so we are going all in during vacation. Um, we have free time from our main work and can put a lot of work into our project. Um, and I'm very excited to reveal that for you. Unfortunately, I don't think it's at a level where we can reveal it just yet. There are some things we need to figure out before that point. So. I'll see you next week and hopefully I can talk a bit more about it then.